Right now, the WIAA Boys and Girls State Individual Wrestling Tournament Blitz is officially underway here in the capital city. Learn how the annual event helps business owners around Madison. Ukraine will win this war. Also, Madison's Ukrainian community are coming together at the state capitol this afternoon with renewed calls for support as the world recognizes the one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion into Ukraine. And we're following new developments tonight as we've learned the identity of a woman killed on Madison's east side earlier this week. What we know at this hour. Those stories and more coming up right now on News 3 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm McKenna Alexander. We begin with some new information as we've learned the identity of the woman that was killed on Madison's east side earlier this week. According to the Dane County Medical Examiner's Office, it was 41-year-old Kristen L. Schmidt that was found dead Wednesday afternoon inside a multi-unit home in the 3400 block of Richard Street near the Albert Botanical Gardens. On Friday, police said her death was ruled a homicide, identifying 39-year-old Justin Kottmeyer as a suspect in Schmidt's death noting that Kottmeyer should be considered armed and dangerous and that a warrant is out for his arrest. And late Friday afternoon, police say they were searching for Kottmeyer when officers got into a confrontation with a man at a quick trip on East Washington Avenue. Police did not confirm the identity of the man involved in that incident, but said he died following a shooting that evening. The cause and manner of Schmidt's death has not been released and her death is still under investigation. As we continue to learn more about the investigation into Schmidt's death, as well as last night's quick trip incident on East Washington. Be sure to download our free Channel 3000 mobile app and turn on push alerts so you never miss an important news update. In Adams County, a man has died after a UTV broke through the ice on the south end of the Lake Camelot Channel. This happened in the town of Rome. According to police, officers were called to the lake around 340 this afternoon on reports that a UTV had broken through the ice. Bystanders were able to help the 64-year-old driver to safety, but after being rescued, the man told officers the other man he was out on the ice with had not yet come out of the water. Moments later, the passenger, a 66-year-old male, was recovered by the town of Rome Fire Department and pronounced dead at the scene. Today, hundreds of Madison residents are protesting Russia's invasion into Ukraine as Friday marked the one-year anniversary of those first attacks. This afternoon, Madison's Ukrainian community gathered at the Capitol to reflect on the past year of pain and renew their calls for continued support of Ukraine. Our Braden Ross was there and shares more from today's demonstration. Song, speech, and prayer. That's how Madison's Friends of Ukraine spent their sunny Saturday afternoon at the Wisconsin State Capitol. If people come and support us, it means that we're not alone. It means that Madison loves Ukraine and it just warms our hearts to see Madison be on our side. People young and old came to show their support for Ukraine a year after Putin's army invaded the country. Ukrainians and American supporters alike came together to honor the resilience of Ukraine and call for continued support. We are fighting for life. We know what we are fighting for and we do need this support. Ukraine will win this war. For 15-year-old Eric Munson, the cause hits close to home in many ways. Ukraine is going through a lot right now and we came out here to support our friend um, Snezhana and because she was actually lived in Ukraine. When war broke out last year, Eric's family took in Shizana and her two children who had fled their home. Well, I definitely learned some Ukrainian. I can say one full sentence, the rest I'm still trying to learn. Eric's family adopted him and his three siblings from Ukraine more than a decade ago. He says he's proud to support the country he comes from in every way he can. You should see support Ukraine just because it's the right thing to do and that it's just good to support a country in need and who's going through a lot at the moment. Eric says he's hopeful one day he'll be able to return to a peaceful Ukraine. One day I really hope I get to go back to Ukraine. For News 3 Now, I'm Braden Ross. As part of today's protest, attendees called for continued U.S. military and civilian support for Ukraine during this time. Let's get a look at your first warrant forecast with meteorologist Alex Harrington. Alex, is it still just as windy out there? 
Oh, yes. Yeah, I feel like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz out here. Maybe not quite that dramatic, but it is pretty wild behind me. And we've got even windier conditions in the forecast. we got alert days coming, folks, but let's look at our Doppler track right now. That's part of our weather story. Where's the precipitation? Well, it's not out there right now, but boy, is that going to be lighting up as we head out about 36 or so hours from now. We'll be looking at that for sure tomorrow night. I'll be here. Let's take a look at where we are temperature wise. Look at this between last night and tonight. Our temperatures are 12 degrees warmer in Madison than where we were just 24 hours ago. 10 degrees warmer than where we were up in Camp Douglas and 7 degrees warmer than where we were in Janesville. That's why we have all that gold and orange colors out there. We've made some progress, I guess, out of the patio. Temperature at 31 degrees here in Madison, 29 to the west in Lone Rock, 27 to the north in Camp Douglas. And our friends to the south and east in Janesville, they're sitting at 30 degrees. Zooming on in here to Dane County. Looks like 31 is a pretty popular number. And zooming back out, temperatures to the south and west in Plotville, our friends down there. They're sitting at 28. As you plan your Sunday, temperatures are going to boost into the 30s and then into the 40s with sunny skies. But then the alert day conditions will move into southern Wisconsin. We'll break all that down in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Alex. New at 10 tonight, the Wisconsin Fishing Expo returned to the Alliant Energy Center this weekend. As the largest fishing expo in Wisconsin, today's event included seminars on fishing, kids' activities, and exhibitors showing off the latest gear. Each year, 20,000 attendees pack the Alliant Energy Energy Center Exhibition Hall to enjoy the annual fishing tradition that helps promote the sport of fishing to enthusiasts of all ages. We encourage people to come down. You know, we're coming up on 40 years here on our run in Madison, and so we love to see all of our friends come out every year. The event will wrap up tomorrow, running from 9 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Tickets cost $10 for adults, and kids 12 and under can get in for free. Another annual winter tradition has returned, this time to downtown Janesville, as people chose their very best plaid for today's Flannel Fest. Whether or not you're actually a flannel fanatic, the festival still has something for everyone, including a variety of craft beer tastings, games, food vendors, and even a homebrew competition. For those that attended, the festival also serves as just a great way to get outside with friends, enjoy some beer, and soak up the Wisconsin winter. I think it's a great opportunity for downtown Janesville to really show off what we have building here. I think it's a great opportunity to just go out, have some fun with some friends. More than 15 craft beer vendors were on deck at today's festival, so whether you prefer an IPA, stout, or a lager, there was sure to be something to help warm those winter blues. But the fun doesn't stop there. Over in Middleton, Capital Brewing Company was busy hosting its 26th annual Bockfest, an event filled with craft beer, live music, food vendors, a fish toss, and so much more. Organizers are pretty dedicated to this, vowing that the event will go on no matter if the weather is rain, snow, or sleet. So needless to say, today's attendees were very pleased with today's event backdrop of sunshine. Just enjoying the season, getting together with all your friends and, and having a beer at a uh, fantastic outside party. The event was only open to those 21 and older, with admission costing $30 at the door. It is a busy weekend here in Madison for wrestling families, as the WIAA Boys and Girls State Individual Wrestling Tournament Blitz is officially underway. Our Andrew Banster caught up with coaches, athletes, fans, and local business owners who say they're really feeling the buzz here in Madison. Boys and Girls State Wrestling marched into Madtown this weekend for a three-day tournament. Fans, athletes, coaches, and business owners alike were swarming the Kohl Center, bringing a Badger game day buzz from the state's wrestling family. I'm wrestling Division Three, 182. I took third place. Jackson pinned his opponent to make it to the third place match. The senior from Stratford is competing in the tournament for his final time. And no matter the result, he's already improved on last year when he finished in fifth place. Yeah, it was nice to be back again. Uh, just worked really hard in the offseason season mornings late nights whenever I could just to get a little bit better every day as for the Schumann's after his son graduated coming to Madison this weekend is an annual tradition not to mention the Janesville resident was of course rooting for wrestlers from Janesville Parker and Milton I'm a big supporter of wrestling always have been my son was a high school wrestler um, I'm here to meet up with him uh, he was actually a state qualifier and place winner in 2020. For the nitty gritty, positioned right down the street from the Kohl Center, having gone through the pandemic and recently closed due to a fire in their building, this helps business. It's fantastic. It's great to have so many people in town from all over the state of Wisconsin. Uh, it's great for our staff. Uh, it's great for morale. Uh, it's obviously great for revenue. 
I've been dealing with a lot over the last couple of years, so it's, it's fun to have uh, this kind of excitement back. The pressure of this weekend weighs on everyone, and that intensifies when you're sending your first wrestler to a final in over a decade. Very exciting to have a kid in the finals. Um, we were hoping that we could do that. It's been a little while. He's right where he wants to be on the last day of this meet, but he's ready to go. Oh, there'll be a lot going on right there. Um, just but, you know, once it, they, you know, the whistle blows, your focus is on the match and helping your kid uh, do his best. And when swaths of people from around the state swarm Madison, our local economy booms, and not just here at the Nitty Gritty. Thankful for everybody that's coming out right now. It's, it's really a fun time for, for everybody and in the community. It helps boost everything, hotels, restaurants, coffee shops. All of us are a benefit from these people that come into Madison. In Madison, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Now. With the WIAA Boys and Girls Wrestling wrapping up tonight, local businesses tell us they're already gearing up for the WIAA Girls and Boys Basketball Tournaments later on in March. In more local news, the Wisconsin Historical Society is moving into a temporary space as staff await the construction of a new history center. The society will move into the main level of the U.S. Bank Plaza at 1 South Pinckney Street. The temporary space will welcome school groups in March and a full launch is planned for this fall. The new center is expected to be completed by 2026. Across the stage day in lacrosse, history fans had the chance to learn more about a local celebrity. George Pogue was the first African American to medal in the Olympics. He was a graduate of a lacrosse high school and then later attended UW Madison before going on to win Olympic bronze twice in the 1904 Games. Dr. David Waters spoke about Pogue today during an event at the Lacrosse Area Heritage Center. He says that in history, it's the little things that matter. It's kind of like a little stream going on and on and on that um, little things we can do in his honor. We can't do great things like Martin Luther King, but we can do small things great. Waters is a leading scholar on the history of George Pogue and his accomplishments. At today's event, Waters recapped Pogue's life and presented new research to guests in attendance. Still ahead tonight on News 3 Now at 10, after record-breaking rain and snow pummeled California, we'll share how residents there are gearing up for this rare winter storm. At Pick and Save, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations, which is why we do up to a 27-point inspection to check for things like color and scarring. Because when it comes to fresh, higher standards mean fresher produce. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. Lake Ridge may be a new name, but it isn't a new bank. It's one built on over a century of community commitment. One equipped with all the knowledge and resources of 145 collective years of experience. Monona Bank and State Bank of Cross Plains are coming together as one. As Lake Ridge Bank, we're doing more together for you. Sir Jenian's 93-year history means you pay $93 for installation no matter how many rooms you carpet. Get carpet and pad in your old carpet removed and recycled. Our competitors can't match it. Ask about 12-month financing. Local, sustainable Sir Jenian's. After a crash with a semi-truck, everything can change instantly. At Gruber Law Offices, we have the knowledge and experience to make sure you're protected. And we're here to help whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll get right to the point. It's the extended President's Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress. <laughs> President, what's that mean for the average American? It means saving $100 off every $1,000 you spend. And tempur With bipartisan support, we've allocated up to $500 savings on select mattress sets and a $300 gift. And how will the people pay for these so-called savings? Try four years no interest and free shipping. Hurry, the extended President's Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. 
When your door is always open, so is the fridge. At Pick and Save, however you shop, in-store, pickup, or delivery, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. A major winter storm, and we warned you first. We're tracking a mix of sleet, freezing rain, and snow for accurate, up-to-the-minute coverage before, during, and after. Those side streets are a real mess. Trust News 3 Now, first warn weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. We're looking across the U.S. tonight where a powerful winter storm that swept down the West Coast with flooding and frigid temperatures is now centering its focus on Southern California. Today, blizzard warnings continued in the California mountains as flood advisories blanketed the region. Kristen Benavides reports from Plains, Georgia. Up and down California, residents are battling a rare winter storm. Before you know it, you can be driving in this and you hit the ice. The snow plows were out in full force in the San Bernardino Mountains, northeast of Los Angeles. Three motorhomes were swept into the Santa Clara River when an embankment collapsed. It wasn't a movie special effect, but Mother Nature that brought the unusual sight of snow to the Hollywood sign. Heavy rains filled the generally bone-dry Los Angeles River with raging floodwaters. And flooding trapped cars and shut down parts of Freeway 5 in Sun Valley. Friday, near whiteout conditions in the high desert area northeast of L.A. caught residents off guard. We don't get this ever. So this is terrific. By Saturday, Santa Clarita Valley residents woke up to a mix of snow and rain. Even parts of the Bay Area saw rare snowfall in communities like Berkeley Hills. In the state center, dogs and even goats enjoyed a romp in the snow. The storm put some to work, but left a little time for fun. After I finished shoveling my path here in our driveway, I wanted to make a snowman. It was just too irresistible with this good pack of snow. And outside San Francisco, these kids certainly weren't letting a rare snow day go to waste. Meanwhile, hundreds of canceled flights at airports around the country were canceled as the storm temporarily shut down miles of major highways in California, Oregon, and Nevada. Let's get a look at your first one forecast meteorologist, Alex Harrington. Alex, we've certainly seen our share of winter weather here. Yeah, we sure have. <laughs> we have more coming. We have alert days that will go into effect, so to speak, as we go late Sunday night through Monday afternoon for freezing rain and snow up to the north in Juneau and Adams County. So impactful road conditions could be deteriorating up there as we go later Sunday night and into your Monday morning. But we also have an alert day for the rest of southern Wisconsin for very, very heavy rainfall. An intramore could be looking at some localized flooding because we've got a snowpack out there in frozen grounds. There's really no place for that water to go but to run off into area streams and rivers. I always like to see with our river of air, our jet stream, where are things coming from? Where are they going? What's going on upstream? And there's that big impactful weather system over the southwestern portion of the United States that we were just showing in California. And that's the weather system that's going to kick off to the north and towards the east, towards the Midwest. Severe weather could occur over the southern plain states, and it's that weather system then that's going to make its way towards southern Wisconsin. Very quiet out there right now, but let's take a look at our friend, the future track, to see what it's thinking is going to happen. Here we go into Sunday. Gorgeous day. Temperatures climbing up into the upper 30s, lower 40s. Winds will be fairly light, so I have to put the shades on. I'm a big walker, so I'll be doing that, or at least I should be. And then as we go into Sunday night, into Monday, look at this. This is that pink, the freezing rain up towards Juneau, Adams County, well north of Madison. Just look at the greens and the oranges. That's heavy rain maybe some thunderstorms moving through southern Wisconsin as we go into Sunday night and into Monday morning. Maybe some snow shower activity as the weather system kicks on through. Windy conditions, you're going to need an extra poof of hairspray if you're someone like me, as I like to say, as those gusty winds continue out of the north and out of the west as we go Monday night and into Tuesday. The weather system, though, will clear by Tuesday. Winter storm watches for Juneau and Adams County and points to the north where they could be looking at some freezing rain potential. Just look at the water that we're anticipating here as well across southern Wisconsin, 1.5 to 2 inches in some cases, maybe again upwards of um, 
quarter inch or so. Freezing rain up to the towards the north and central and portions of northern Wisconsin. We'll have to definitely keep an eye on that. And looking further out into the future, we've got all this water, all this precipitation, rain, sleet, snow, freezing rain that we've been talking about for weeks. And according to the Climate Prediction Center, it looks like we're going to continue to stay above normal in the precipitation department. Forecast for tonight, we'll do 18 clear skies as we go on into your Sunday 41. Grab the shades and then here's that alert day on your Monday. After that weather system moves through, look at that. The temperature staying rather mild for this time of year. Could be looking at the possibility of another rain snow chance Tuesday night going into Wednesday. Another weather system again as we go out. Friday into the Saturday time frame. That one looks like it's probably going to go down towards the Ohio River Valley. Folks on my Facebook have been asking me about that one, so it just stays pretty active. Definitely going to be something to keep up with us on this week as you guys watch it. Indeed. All right. Thanks, Alex. You bet. Just a reminder, you can stay up to date on the weather with our first one forecast weather app. There you'll find hourly forecast, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can find it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC weather. Still ahead in sports, it's all led to this championship Saturday for state wrestling. Jordan has highlights and more from the final day of the tournament coming up after the break. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's High These. Buy this, get that free sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy two boxes of Post cereal, get one free. Buy one, get one free on High V Choice Reserve 8 ounce sirloins. And buy one six pack of 7 Up, get one free. Only at High V. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Why should you have to continue to do that? Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. And once again, you're called upon by your family to serve and protect. We want you to know we are here to support you. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin, with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. It's not easy to ask for a hand up, but we are clear in our mission. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. 833 W I S V R A P. That's 833 947 8727. At Fearing's Audio Video Security, our people, vision, and values drive superior technology. Alien tape is strong enough to hold this fishbowl on a moving car. Just peel and stick and make anything stay in place quick. A wooden shelf, a basket to glass, rugs to the floor, and so much more. Alien tape sticks to brick, pavers, marble, tile, plastic, even leather. Nothing works better. Alien tape secures in seconds, then twist, pull, and rinse to reuse. You're dying to try it. Here's your chance to buy it. Call 1-800-490-1347 or go to tryaliantape.com. That's 1-800-490-1347. Don't miss High V's Buy This, Get That Free Sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy two bags of ruffles, get one free. Buy one, get one free on Dole Salad Kits. And buy one Market Grill Breakfast, get one free. Only at High V.
Championship Saturday is finally here. High school wrestlers from all over have been competing for the last two days with the hopes of not only advancing to this point, but hopefully being the one standing atop the podium and heading home a champion. Starting in Division One at 220, Milton's Aiden Sinclair won it all last year and went back to back. The Red Hawk dominated his way to a second straight title with a 12 to 6 decision. Dodgeville dominated the lightweights at 106 pounds. Hawken Peterson capped off an undefeated freshman season with a 14-7 decision. Teammates Charlie Might and Reed Spurley also were crowned champs. At 132, Evansville's Danny Heiser gets a third period escape on his way to back-to-back -back titles. And speaking of back-to-back -back champs, Lodi's Zane Licht wins his second straight 152 pound title with a 6-1 decision. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, just my coach is telling me every day that I have the chance to do such great things and just believing in them, it feels great to know that two-time state champ and I ended undefeated. Amazing. Uh, I'm on track to be four-time state champ and like that's the goal. And I'm halfway there, so not done yet. It was a banner day for Mineral Point. First at 138 pounds, Lucas Sullivan finally breaks through. The takedown there, part of a 7-2 to two decision to cap off his senior year as a champ. And then teammate Taryn Riley follows suit. Three-point near fall, part of his 9-0 major win. And at 160, Fenimore's Tristan Stelt wins his first state championship with an 8-3 decision. Oh, it feels great. I've been waiting four years to do this, been in the finals three times. I finally got it done. You know, I got second the last two years and I qualified my freshman year. It's, it's a dream come true. I've been waiting for this day since fourth grade. I've dreamed about it. I, I've thought about it every day. I know that. Sun Prairie's Bopa Quintana won it all last year at 114 and finished the job again. She gets the sudden victory takedown to win her second title at 114. And then up at 132, Mineral Points, Kylie Rule with an exclamation point on her career. She wins with a pin to go back to back as a senior. It meant a lot to me, you know, I had to take the title again, claim my title, you know. No one's going to be able to take it from me now, senior year. <laughs> I'm really excited. I was like, I did it again, and I know everyone's here to see it, and yeah, I was just happy to be there. Regional finals for high school girls hoops. Verona hosting Wanakee in Division One. Wildcats dialed in from the start. Megan Murphy finds Maya Ellis on the wing. Ellis easily finds the bottom of the net for three. That makes it a double-digit lead. She tries for another just minutes later. Well, off the mark, the Wildcats are going to get the offensive rebound, and Reagan Briggs capitalizes for two of her team-high 25. Verona wins 75-43. to Next stop, sectionals. In D2, we got McFarland playing host to Reedsburg. Badger head coach Marissa Mosley in attendance. Tegan Mullaney putting on a show. She knocks down the J to open the scoring. Well, then later in the half, Mullaney hits up Adrian Kirch for the hoop and the harm to give Sparty a four-point cushion. The Spartans would pull away in the second half and punch their ticket to sectionals with a dominant 69-47 win. The only thing standing between Badger Women's Hockey and their 13th straight trip to the WCHA final faceoff in Minnesota after earning their 11th straight win over the Mavs last night. Bucky has a chance to break out the brooms this afternoon. And the Mavs, they strike first. They get on the board late first period, so now it is time to rally. And here comes Captain Curl to the rescue. She cleans it up left side on her way down the ice, and her reaction just says it all. But this tie doesn't last long. Layla Edwards takes the long way around for the wraparound go-ahead, her 10th goal of the season. The Badgers win at 4-1 to and are heading to the WCHA final face-off, where they're going to face Minnesota in the semis. That game is Friday at 5. All right, thanks, Jordan. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stanton Optical independent eye doctors are available for eye exams whenever you need one. You should have seen me before I got mine. You're so quiet. Are you mad at me? Book your free same-day eye exam at Stanton Optical today. News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and we will send you local breaking news as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now.
Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-501-5956 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. If you've been injured in a truck crash, call Gruber Law Offices. Trucking law can be extremely complicated. There are specific rules and regulations that apply, and we know what it takes to win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. This is a Tempur-Pedic mattress, and it's designed to help make aches and pains a thing of the past. Because only Tempur-Pedic uses our one-of-a-kind, incredibly adaptive temper material to relieve pressure points and support your body in a way no other mattress can. Molecule by molecule and millimeter by millimeter. All night, every night. Save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets. And get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2023. Nominate the Best of Madison online today, including Buck and Honey's in five food and drink categories, including Best Restaurant, Catering, and Private Parties. Cast your nominations on madisonmagazine.com. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. Get started on your next Ford SUV, like Bronco, Explorer, or the new Escape. Get here to get a deal on the SUV's number one in brand loyalty. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. During Auto Show, choose Flex Buy on Escape, Edge, or Explorer with 3.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 1,000 Auto Show cash. When the snow flies in bike-friendly Madison, avid cyclists just keep on pedaling. It's a good time. News 3 Now's to Halil Mahadeen finds out what it takes from must-have gear to safety tips. Hitting the road with snow bikers, Monday at 10. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Call for action only on News 3 Now. We're going alert days as we go late Sunday night and into Monday afternoon for freezing rain and snow for Juneau and Adams County. Looking at heavy rainfall for the rest of southern Wisconsin. We could be looking at some localized flooding. Greg will be here in the morning and I'll be here tomorrow night. We'll keep an eye on everything and keep folks up to date on the impactful weather system. All right. Thanks for joining us tonight. Weekend morning starts at 630.